Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'll be showing you a brand new way to get into a new secret boss room that you can build in. I'm also going to be showing you how to mine stone incredibly fast. Just note that this is going to be a glitch that you can do and the best part about it is it can be done early game if that's something that you would like. There will be some other things that you can expect in today's video such as some more information about the next update that is supposed to arrive sometime this week. So there is definitely going to be a lot that I will be covering in today's video. If you have yet to subscribe but you are a frequent stopper on the channel and you stop by so much but you're not subscribed, subscribe now, it's completely free and turn on those notifications. Now that you know what to expect out of this video, let's go ahead and dive right into this. Let's begin by discussing how to get inside the second secret boss room and it's quite easy. What you will need to do is head over here towards a fast rattling statue and locate this location on the left side. There are two different points of interest that you can travel to. I'm going to head towards the top one, which is going to be the sealed realm of the Thunder Dragon. What I suggest is that you choose whichever location is available for you. If you have the top one, go ahead. If you have the bottom one, definitely travel there. Once you're here, hop on top of your mount, open up the map, go towards the left side, Create a beacon here and then let's go ahead and travel in that direction. Also speaking about these boss rooms, if you have seen yesterday's video, then today is going to be a completely brand new one and I will be going over the other boss room just to knock two birds out with one stone. This way instead of clicking on that other video, I'll just include it in this one. Alrighty, now that we're here, you should see this entrance or at least it looks like it could have been a cave entrance. And on the wall here, we're going to grip on it, but first we need to spawn down our pal. We're going to breach through the wall, and the only way to do this is if we summon down our pal first, grip onto the wall as if we're climbing all the way up, and we're going to choose the option to pet our pal. Open up that wheel and choose the top option. You might need to do this a second time, which most likely you will, but for most scenarios you probably will not need to, because most of these walls you can just go right on through without going through another layer, but in this case we do have another layer to go through. Now that we're officially through, you should see a pathway down below. You do want to go in this direction, and eventually you will lead yourself into a larger room. This large room here can be built in, and you can actually spawn some pals. You can do all sorts of things inside here. And also, it's completely raid-free, so there's no chance of any of the pals or enemies coming down below here because it's just impossible for them. Also, if you're wondering as to why there are some of these unused boss locations or these boss rooms, it's mostly because there are some unreleased pals that will eventually come out. If you do not know about this, well, there's definitely one that looks like Mewtwo, at least that's what some are comparing it to. I personally do not see it. Some actually, like, pointed out a Digimon of some sort. But anyways, you can tell right here that I am building inside this base, or at least it's going to be my base now. And this one right here, I prefer a lot more over the other boss room because this secret boss room has a lot more room in it, right? So there's a lot more that you can do, a lot more that you can build, and your pals will not be so condensed and compacted together. Anyways, we are now going to continue on and talk about the second secret boss room that I had shown yesterday. This one is new as well, but again, I did show it in a previous video. The only reason why I'm going to show it now is because I do want to show two different boss rooms in this video, and this way you do not have to click on the other video, you could just watch it now. The next location can be found at Cinemoth Forest. This right here is one of my least favorite because now I have that other one like I just mentioned, but let's go ahead and travel over there. Once you're here, you should see this statue right here, which is the fast traveling statue, and you will see a lake down below, and then on the left side is going to be a wall. We're gonna head towards that left side with our pal, and we're going to rinse and repeat the same steps as before. We're going to grip on the wall right there on the left side, use our mount so that we can pet it. The mount will grip onto us or will grip onto the pet, and then we'll merge on through. We want to do this again so that we can go through the second layer, and once you're through that texture, you should be fine. At this point, you should see another pathway, which is somewhat similar to the other one, kind of, but not so much, but you do see a pathway that leads to a, to a decent large room. Alrighty, next up at number three, we're going to talk about the best and fastest way to mine stone using a spear glitch. The only requirements is that you're going to need a spear. 
It can either be the Lily Spear, it can be the Stone Spear, the Reinforced Spear, one of those, right? Just grab one of them. Personally, I recommend using the Lily Spear, or if you can, definitely use the Reinforced Spear. Yet feel free to use whatever spear that you have at your disposal. Just take note that when it comes down to using that spear, if it is a lower quality, you will have a lower damage. With that information to the side, you're going to see right here that this is the normal speed when you do decide to chisel away at some stone. But what happens when we do decide to use a glitch? Will it increase the speed? Definitely. And all you need to do is crouch and attack the stone. And that's pretty much it. I mean, besides just kind of timing it a little bit, but yeah, you'll get it down easily. The process is simple, you're just going to crouch and attack. If you're on console, I think you may need to hold it down. If it's possible, look through the settings and see if there is an option where you can just tap it once, because I'm pretty sure right now you do have to hold down the B button in order to do this. So just go through the settings and see if you can do that. If you can, let me know down below in the comments. If you're wondering what spears are the most efficient, I would say the first spear that you get, which is the stone one, is not as great as the second one, but definitely the second one is not as great as the third one. This is why I recommend either the reinforced one or Lily Spear, because you can definitely apply a lot of damage, but either or, you can do this no matter what. I mean, it should help you out. Even if you are low level and you have the first spear, you should be able to do this regardless. It's just, it's going to have a lower damage, but you will be able to take out the stone a lot faster than normal. We are now going to continue on and talk about a different glitch that is quite similar to this one, which will allow you to take out stone or any tree or any obstacle pretty fast. The only requirements is that you're going to need a spear and a sword or an ax, something along those lines. And what you're going to do is open up the menu here and spam the attack button and the pause menu. But you want to tap it, do not hold down the trigger button. What you will notice is that your character is going to be attacking in the background and at this point you want to swap out the spear with the sword or the sword with the spear, whichever item you're using. If you are successful, you should see that the spear is in your hand or the sword, but it looks a little odd. This means you're in the glitch and you can go to any object and you should see that the stamina will not decrease and you can just continue onwards. Note you will see the stamina decrease when you do decide to sprint, but that's pretty much it. What I recommend is that you try out all the glitches from before, even this glitch, just try them out before they get patched because you never know. These developers could potentially patch these glitches or exploits and then at that point you probably have no way of gaining any sort of money, duplicating a bunch of items, or in this case taking out a lot of stone easily. And speaking of the update, this next one is going to be quite interesting because it's not going to be for just cheating. Bucky, the community manager over on the official Power World Discord, had this to say right here. He had responded to a user named Rabbit420 that said, Only thing I heard too, just a thought, but adding a bug fix would be amazing too. I understand cheating and fraud will be fixed, but bugs do as well. Then Bucky responded with, The cheating issues are a network problem. Thus, the solutions are being worked on by the network team, not by the entire development team. The upcoming updates aren't just cheating related. And boom, right there. For this next update, you can expect a bit more. Now, will this contain new technology, new pals, new things to do? Absolutely not. I don't think so. And I'm not a part of the development team, obviously, but I would think that they're more focused on the bugs, the cheating, the issues at hand and not on the cooler stuff, just yet anyways. I'm pretty sure that is probably something that they are working on, but it's definitely not going to be included in this next update, at least in my opinion. And Bucky also left something here as well a bit later on, which we all are aware of, and that is going to be the next update that's arriving at the end of this month. Bucky says this right here, next update is still scheduled for the end of this month. So really, we're just going to have to wait, whether it be today, tomorrow. I am thinking tomorrow will definitely be the date and we'll see exactly what goes on. Make sure that you are subscribed and you have those notifications turned on because when this update does go live, I will be covering it and I will also be showing you guys some of the newer glitches or some old glitches that you can do after the latest patch. With that being said, if you guys have truly enjoyed the video, make sure that you are subscribed. 
turn those notifications on and if you have any questions about today's video or a previous video make sure to ask down below thank you guys so much for the support and i'll see you all in the next video